Hi, my name is Grace Ellis, and I'm a sophomore at Waverly High School. And this is the trophy. In America, a divorce occurs approximately every 36 seconds. That equa equates to 2,400 divorces every day, 16,800 divorces a week, 876,000 divorces per year. My mother left my father on Father's Day. Now, it wasn't her fault. He's never been much of a father anyway, two days. That's how long it took her to get out of there because she chose the two days when my sister and I wouldn't be there. We were at Girl Scouts, slumber parties, church, anywhere but there. The day we came home, we didn't go home. We went to McDonald's. And there sat my father in a booth with his head in his hands. It was Father's Day, and here we sat being told we were going to lose ours. In the moment, we cried. And now I look back wondering why I bothered. Six years and more than enough tears later, and I finally realized I never lost a father. Because I never had a father to begin with. A man who chooses meth and pot over his own kids is not a father. He is not my father. He is simply the man whose sperm happened to carry the genetics necessary to make me. The misconception is if man has sex, has sex with a woman and happens to create a life that makes him a father, that gives him the right to be called dad. The title of dad is something you must earn. It is not a privilege given. It is the trophy you display up on your highest shelf, surrounded by lights, a plaque that reads, I have the honor of being a father. I have the honor of having two beautiful daughters. I have the honor of them calling me dad. Sadly for you, my father, my genetic generator, my absent role model, you have lost your trophy. You are no longer dad. You are Clark. Clark, the name that rolls uneasily out of my mouth. Clark, the name that gives you no significance. Clark, the name that defines you. And father is not part of that definition. I am proud to say your trophy now belongs to someone else. Your trophy belongs to a man who is more of a father than I ever thought possible. A man who makes promises and keeps them. A man who comes to watch my volleyball games. A man who may not be part of the reason I was born, but is more a part of why I am alive. A man who chose to be a part of my family when he asked my sister and I if he could take my mother on a date. My stepfather is my father's step is just a formality, a legality. Yes, we bicker just like any father and daughter. And yes, it may be true that I don't call him dad. I call him David. But it's not because I don't want to call him dad. It's that I'm scared. But that fear shouldn't stop me. Because David is a father and he deserves the title of dad. So, dad. This poem is my way of saying I'm not scared anymore, and I love you, and Dad, you deserve your trophy, and I know you'll display it proudly up on your highest shelf. Thank you. All right, y'all, give it up for Waverly.